All right, America's favorite roofer, roofing a turret. Here we go, standing scene. And as I said earlier, we are starting oh, right here. That blue line is, you can see that blue line. I've got a double male panel that's already tapered, bent, and crafted, handmade. And we're gonna go around that turret. So you can see down here at the bottom, what I've done here is taken a standard piece of 90 degree drip edge without without a T, so it's not a T shape. As you would see here behind me, let me show you what that looks like, a T-shaped drip edge. You can see how that T, one more time, I'll show you one more time. Hang on here, let's check it out. You can see here how this lip jumps out past the roof. And we call we call that a T, a T style of the drip edge. The now on this side of the valley behind me on that T, that's where our slate metal shingle will attach and lock into. So it'll lock on the bottom of that T, stopping any wind, rain, ice, snow, anything from blowing up underneath there and or wind stopping the anything blowing off the roof. So locked on, hemmed on, nice and tight. But on the turret here, what I've done, I've, I've taken a standard 90 degree drip edge. I've lanced it. You can see here, I've cut this and relieved it. I could have bent it on a hammer mill and radiused it, but it's a little bit easier to just go ahead and cut it. It's gonna be covered up anyway, you're not gonna see it. But, so I just did that, that way it can bend around the front of the turret. But you're asking, how am I gonna lock on the drip edge? Well, great question. I'm gonna lock it on with a joggle cleat. A joggle cleat is this piece right here. So you can see that piece of metal. I get screwed down to the eave here. Now you're asking, how am I getting that bent around there? What I've done is I've cut small pieces, pretty straightforward, put them in place, and then I come around with my snips, and I'm, I'm cutting around that radius to keep in line with the curve of the roof. I've got the panel tapered. I'm going to stick the first panel on here. I will show you how I was going to do it, but unfortunately, I'm one man with two hands. And I need the other two hands to put this panel on, so I'll get the panel in place. I'll turn the camera back on and show you how it looks, so stay tuned. 